What's going on you guys? So I've actually been working on a second forehand form and honestly, I haven't been able to control it yet, but what I can tell you is it gives a lot of power and even the most overstable discs sometimes can't handle it. So I think it's very promising when it comes to distance. So I'm gonna demonstrate my normal forehand and then I'm gonna do the new forehand style, which I might only use for distance shots, but let's see how much farther it actually goes because I haven't tested this. I'm really curious. Both styles, let's see which one goes farther. I got wide open space this time, so I shouldn't hit anything. Hopefully I don't hit those two posts out there. Let's see what happens. First normal style. Now let's try the new technique and see if it goes any further. Okay, that is really crazy. We, I gotta show you guys the difference. Okay, so right now we're approaching the very first shot, which I marked with this yellow disc again. And honestly, this is still a smash. I'll show you once we get here how far away we are. I mean, this is a little bit downhill, but we're throwing from all the way back there. I'd say this is probably at least like 390 to 400. Of course, we got a tailwind, but look how much farther the second one is. So right here, we're going to start. I'm going to take steps and let's walk there. So 26, 27, and 28. 28 steps farther. So if every step is about three feet, it's almost 90 extra feet. Now, honestly, that is probably like about 60, 70 extra feet on that one toss. And I'm not gonna bother testing this like a million times, but I've noticed that I, when I do this little different technique in the past, that it's gone farther. Like, look how far that is. That is ridiculous. Yeah, a little too high. All right, and just for the heck of it, I'm gonna really crank it over. Disc mania tilt, let's see what happens. Not horrible for a tilt throw. But anyways, you guys can get the point now. It's not very accurate and not super reliable, but if you have an open space where it's kind of a sidearm shape, I feel like there's no reason not to do this throw. Same with like backhand 360, it's not that accurate. And if you don't hit it right, it's gonna be kind of ugly. But nonetheless, it's probably still gonna go farther than your typical normal backhand. So in that case, I feel like you should try these things when the opportunity comes up. Anyways, I'm gonna be implementing this into my game every now and then. It's definitely different than my normal style. It is quite fatiguing, especially like right here, like if you're an arm wrestler, I feel like it's kind of sort of the same muscles which is weird, it's not my typical like soreness when it comes to sidearm. It's like a different set of muscles. So maybe I'm using different parts of my arm here. But anyways, you could see that, at least for those first couple, it was zooming past where I was throwing. I got a minimum of like 55, 60 extra feet with just this weird technique. And it, it doesn't feel like I'm throwing it that hard. Like I feel like if I go like this, just really go for it. I feel it through my wrist, I feel it through my arm, and I feel like I get a lot more snap on it. But the other way just goes so much farther, it's so weird. Anyways guys, hopefully you enjoyed. Make sure to subscribe. If you learned something, comment down below. Honestly, I don't know all the details of this thing, I'm just sharing it with you. Anyways, if you didn't subscribe already, make sure to do that. We're almost at 1,000. Leave a like. I'll see you in the next one.